In this video, we're going to explain how to make a six-figure grid reference. We use a six-figure grid reference because this depicts an area of 100 metres by 100 metres on the ground. And if you sent a record in of a plant or an animal and we wanted to go out and actually find that, then it's not too big an area to explore. The British National Grid System is a series of geographic references which is different from longitude and latitude. It's devised by the Ordnance Survey and is different from the Irish grid reference system which is used in Ireland and Northern Ireland. These are examples of Ordnance Survey maps which use the British National Grid System and we will look at this in more detail a little later. Let's have a look now at this overview map of the British National Grid. To gain the first letter of the grid reference, the grid is divided into squares of size 500 kilometres by 500 kilometres. There are four 500 kilometre squares that contain significant land area in Great Britain, and these are lettered S, T, N and H. These 500 kilometre squares are divided into 25 squares each 100 kilometres by 100 kilometres. They are lettered using a code from A to Z, omitting I and starting with A in the northwest corner to Z in the southwest corner. An area of 100 kilometres squares is therefore depicted in the first two letters of a six figure grid reference. Within each square, eastings and northings from the origin, or the southwest corner of the square, are given numerically. In other words, the distance to the right and the distance up, or as you may remember it from school, along the corridor and up the stairs. If we have two digits in a grid reference, one figure from the eastings or along the corridor, and one figure from the northings or up the stairs, this represents an area of one kilometre square. If we zoom in and write more figures for the eastings and northings, we can make a much more precise grid reference. In each case, half the digits come from the eastings, the second half represent the northings. OK, so now we've gone through the theory of how to make a grid reference. Let's have a practice using this Liverpool map, OS Explorer map 275. Now let's imagine we were making a biological record and wanted a grid reference for this footbridge in Rimrose Valley Country Park. The first thing we need to do is decide which letters go at the front of our six figure grid reference. And we're actually on a border here, along here, between SD and SJ, which are both two different 100 kilometre squares. So actually our site is here, which is just in the SJ section. So I'll write down SJ at the front of my grid reference. OS maps are really useful because they're already split into one kilometre squares by these fine blue lines. At the end of the lines and along the perimeter of the map, there are numbers that are associated with the lines. We know that we have to take the Eastings or the grid reference that goes along first and our site is here which is between 33 and 34 on our map. That four figure grid reference pertains to the kilometre square around the footbridge in Rimrose Valley and we always take the number before that it's sitting within, so number 33. If we go up our site sits between 99 and 00, zero. So we can write this down as 33 and then the next number was 99 and that's a four figure grid reference. If we want to make a six figure grid reference, we've got our four figures here, the SJ3399, but for six figures we need to fill in the blank that's here and here. So to do that, we can use one of these grid reference readers. So if we overlay it onto our kilometre square that we've already identified, we now can read along the bottom again, and I can see that my footbridge is within number five along the bottom, 
and number four going up the side. So I can put a five in here and a four going up the side there. And there we have it, a six-figure grid reference for our site.